Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So, guys, you have been sending me so many photos. It's awesome. Keep sending them. You know, we have photos at the end here that are, you know, if they're real, they're pretty pretty darn mind-blowing. And, uh, you know, get, as always, I want to get your opinion. Please do leave comments. Tell me what you're, what you're seeing out there. Um, you know, everybody, I mean, there's so many people seeing the moon change, for one, and we're going to go into that. And it's just freaking perplexing and crazy. It, it feels like we're living in a simulation, and I think a lot of people are starting to think that as well. So this first one we're looking at, I mean, we're so used to the chemtrail skies, right? They're constantly blocking out the sun. Now they've started to block out the moon as well. And we've had so many sightings of different orbs around it, colors, and the colors are always red and blue. And, uh, you know, you guys, a lot of you, a ton of you, were talking about a blue orb by the moon. And some were mentioning a blue and a red orb by the moon. And, you know, of course, we've had that by the sun for quite a while now. And as you can see with this picture, uh, just looking at the sun, they're covering something up. So, you know, there have been some people that say, well, you know, they're just looking out for our own good. All they're doing is just, you know, they're blocking out the damaging cosmic rays, UVs, you know, which because the magnetosphere is, is in decline, they're just trying to save us from skin cancer and, you know, trying to keep us alive. And then there's others that say, uh, nope, they're poisoning us, it's, it's weather warfare, um, et cetera, et cetera. Either way you look at it, they are basically, you know, they're, they're blocking the sun. They do it all the time. They do it in the morning. They do it at night. And they do it all the time. And, and they come out like clockwork now. You could count on it certain times in the afternoon you know they're coming out and you know one thing that we've seen is the light from the sun or the sun simulator or you know the dyson sphere as we've been talking about whatever it is you know the, the light is refracting differently than it used to in days gone by and you know there's so much chemicals in front of it coming to us it would make sense what is exactly going on? The opinions are varied, as we can see with all these photos. Now, this is actually the moon, and this is from Detroit, and the moon is so bright. And people have been noticing the moon's bright, and the moon, well, you know, if the sun's getting brighter, I guess it would stand to reason that the moon is as well, right? Since the moon is basically, you know, just reflecting the light of the sun. Uh, but there's been some other anomalies with the moon as well, as I just play with things to see if we get a different perspective on it. There's been a lot of anomalies with the moon as well. Yeah, anybody that said there were no chemtrails, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not getting hardly anybody. Mm, actually, yeah, I, I can't remember the last person now that said they're weren't chemtrails. Actually, probably the last person said there were no chemtrails to me or actually somebody that runs a channel fairly similar to this. But he has now changed his mind and chemtrails do exist. So, you know, they're undeniable. Look at these things. And we're seeing more of these vertical ones as well. Chemtrails are reality. And, you know, there's a variety of things in them. And we're seeing a lot of rainbow type effects in these photos as well and so what are they reflecting here's a great photo of a double sunset and so you know a lot of people out there are saying well they're just sun dogs and you know they've always been around but how come you know there's there's so many more sightings of them and you know I know people want to just you know, want to view everything as just being, you know, woo-woo if you think there's perhaps other objects around us. 
such as Nibiru, Planet X, Nemesis, Wormwood, Blue Kachina, Red Kachina. You know what I'd, I'd love to see is more people, and, and a lot of you guys do, but there's still some out there that will, you know, say it's just one thing. But perhaps all the traditions of the world have different words to describe the same phenomenon. And this is a egg-shaped moon, a distortion of the moon. You know, a lot of people were talking about what exactly what I saw and uh, our own uh, Lisa Lavender saw as well with the moon completely like the craters disappeared. It, it's like they just disappeared. Um, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, perhaps if there was some sort of flare from the sun or some sort of intense brightness, maybe that would take away the effect of the craters. I, I'm just throwing that out there now as I just kind of thought about it now. But the moon has been just incredibly bright and, and weird. But, I mean, I saw it. I saw all the craters disappear and it just be basically white and really bright white. And then it seemed like there was at either side of it another orb. It was absolutely just crazy and I've never seen anything like that before. As we see, you know, the question that's come up time and time again, is this another body right by the sun? that we've had and if you look at WSO's site and who I'll be working with again probably next upcoming week um, you know there's there's thousands of these photos thousands and you know what is it that we have going on here is it just ref reflection and refraction or is it you know one object behind another in which case, you know, then is it the sun simulator and the sun? Is it the sun and blue kachina, red kachina, wormwood, nemesis, planet X? And this is from down in Florida. And, you know, Florida had, has had some of the thickest, heaviest chemtrails I have seen. Uh, and really, honestly, they were making me and many others sick every day. You just could feel how horrible they were. And how heavy all these crisscross patterns there again you got a tiny bit of a rainbow effect there and again that partial rainbow with all these chemtrails everywhere and guys wait till you get to uh, you know there's there's a couple here that are gonna blow you away just blow you away okay so you know, here we have a, a double sun effect. And this is again down in Florida. And again, just chemtrail skies. Thank you so much for those chemtrail skies. And notice the red tint here. And this is the moon, extremely bright and all that red tint. So when we look at the moon, I don't remember it looking like that. Now, isn't it supposed to be always in the exact same position facing Earth? Because the other night when I looked at it, you could flip this 90 degrees. This was over here. This was going across there. And even that looked wrong. You know, is this their way of telling us that, you know what? The moon's actually an artificial satellite. Or perhaps even a hologram. Perhaps it's a hologram. And really what we have here is the Death Star. <laughs> or something like that you know if maybe it's just a giant mothership and this whole thing is really just a big hologram in the sky 
And it's always been a giant mothership watching us the whole time. Well, think about it. Think of the Tower of Babel. Come, let us go down there. Well, go down there from where? Well, maybe it was from the moon. <laughs> maybe they, they were on the moon the whole time, and, that's, and they're still there. Maybe that's their base. If you listen to Corey Good, you know, for instance, he's said that this thing is hollow, and it's basically completely hollowed out, and it's inhabited by many different ET races. And you know what? Perhaps that's not really so crazy. And that's the moon as well. And look at how bright it is. So, yeah, you know, it's got to be related to the sun being brighter. But then that doesn't have anything to do with the positioning of it. Because the craters don't look the same as, as they used to. It's, it's like it shifted. And I was wondering, you know, is that some sort of Mandela effect? But many of you guys have seen the shift take place during, you know, you've watched it and it shifted. And we did the other night as well. And, you know, that that's just, it's got to make you wonder, what's up? You know, are we in the Truman Show? And uh, somebody's about ready to end the show and roll the credits. And they just want to say, hey guys, sorry about the joke as we see this huge aura around I think that's let's see this was Detroit this was the moon it's pretty crazy it's so bright and so heavily chemtrailed um, alright guys and then saving the most controversial for last because these are gonna get you guys up in the storm so the fifth world took a video and she saw some things that were really unusual and we had I had somebody else uh, basically say I saw the exact same thing and actually you know about half a dozen of you have seen the exact same thing well the first photos have come in from the half a dozen or so of you and when we look at this I mean it, it it's bizarre so that's a pretty damn clear picture And it's pretty high up. The only thing I could think of is some sort of drone. But people have said this thing morphs. It changes shape. Changes, you know, size, shape. It'd be wonderful if they had a video of this too, but they just had these photos. And so this has me on a mission, and right now I'm looking to purchase a camcorder with night vision. And I'm just doing my research to try to find the best deal so that I could get out there and start doing some of this too. There's a lot of strange stuff that happens up here in the, in the mountains. So I don't know what you guys make of that, but there's more where that came from. Here's another one. So I look for it. There it is. Now this, <laughs> this almost looks like a flying mummy sarco sarcophagus. Or either that, or you know what? I think we have a sighting of Iron Man. What do you think? Is that Iron Man? Could that be Iron Man? I swear I see eyes. What do you guys think? Those look like eyes. So, you know, there's the thoughts. Some have said they believe these are angels uh, or perhaps a Merkaba. And the Merkaba is a dodecahedron. And uh, it's basically the vehicle in which we could travel through different dimensions. It's the light body. I swear I could see a face in that. Can you guys see that? 
That is crazy. What in the world is up there? Flying around, morphing and changing. Yeah, I still swear I see eyes there. These are really wild photos. As you see, another shot. Again, it's yeah, basically the exact same thing. Almost shaped like a dolphin, sort of. It's just crazy. And at first I didn't see this up there. This looks like a little bit different angle. Now there, that almost looks like two exhausts from something flying away from us. But it's got that same unusual shape. So is this really some sort of ship? Some sort of spaceship? That's a pretty great shot. So I'm going to save that baby. That's really kind of cool. Um, I mean, they're all kind of cool. What do you guys think? Um, I can't wait to read your... Here's one too. This one might be the best yet. And again, this looks like burners on. So look at that light. Now either that's reflecting the sun or maybe the moon these days. Or those are some sort of afterburners kicking into high gear ready to take us to warp speed, Scotty. Look at that. So, I mean, obviously that's something. <laughs> you can't deny that. These things are being seen more and more. And so it's pretty wild, my friends. So I can't wait to hear your comments on all this. Keep sending your photos in. We have amazing stuff coming up. This is just amazing, and we're really just scratching the surface here. So as always, please thumbs up to support the channel and subscribe, click the bell, make sure you get all the notifications, share with as many people as possible. And let's wake up as many people to all this stuff that's going on in this world, crazy as it is. Well, my friends, may you always be blessed with abundant peace, love, happiness, and wellness, and always kept safe in these times. God bless and namaste.